Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. Today's video is a Hot Flash Monday video where we try out a new foundation and see if it can stand up to hot flashes. So if that's something that interests you and you'd like to see more, stay tuned. Also, if you have know of one that will stand up to um, hot flashes, leave it in the comments below in case we haven't tried it, we'll give it a try. Today we are testing the new Sunday Riley, the Influencer Clean Long Wear Foundation. And I have the color, I don't know what color it is because I can't see it. And yes, I know, and my hair is down, it's never down, but I have vowed to leave it down as much as possible. I got the color 140 Light with Neutral Undertones um, because I have all these this breakage down here little hairs see how short they are from wearing it in a ponytail and from dyeing it of course but yes from wearing it in a ponytail so I'm trying to not pull it back for a while because <laughs> it's gonna be summer soon and then I will definitely pull it back but I'm wanting to let those kind of grow out not that they're ever in the ponytail anymore anyways but I don't want to make them any you know thicker so I'm trying to wear it down as much as possible, as much as I can stand it, but I will pull it back out of my face for videos because I know I got the message when I left it down that one time. Plus, I did just get, I'll show you, these cut, I mean they're cut to my mouth so they're super long. I just wanted to be able to give it some height right here. I don't know if it worked. I think it was a mistake to let, to get it cut, them cut, but anyways, they'll grow out. That's why I got them cut so long, was so that they'd hopefully still go back in my ponytail and behind my ear, which they don't quite stay behind my ear. But anyways, on with our testing. Okay. And I have already primed my face. I used the new Hourglass number 28 that I got, the little one, that Kathleen Lights was said, said was so incredibly awesome. I don't know when I put it on to me it seemed like it was an oil so I don't know if it's gonna work out for me but we're trying it I like the kind that are like pore reducing and filling and stuff I know she's like 12 but I thought you know she said it was so great and it was really expensive that little tiny thing that I have this little travel one was $22 the big one was 65 and it's not big. It's just like normal size. I don't know how many ounces you get. But it's not big. Anyway. We're just going to... Uh, I'm going to use, to put this on, I'm going to use my new It Cosmetics brush. Because this bad boy was 48 bucks. So we're going to see if it's any good too. Maybe I should put these back. All right, I'm just going to put this on the back of my hand. Now I've seen a few reviews on this. Some were better than others. I shook it up, but it's kind of thin, kind of dark. Um, I'm just gonna dot it on my face. Maybe it's not dark, it just looks dark on my hand. It was kind of sheer is what I noticed in the reviews that I watched. So I may take two pumps. Oh, I don't like this brush. It's too flimsy for a foundation brush. I thought that's what it was, a foundation brush and a concealer. Okay, well. I totally can't even tell that I had any on. And I thought putting it on with a brush, it would go on way thicker than if I used a sponge. And that was like two pumps. So, maybe we'll get a real brush. Morphe. So, let's go with a whole nother pump. See if it will build up 
But I did notice that the people that reviewed it said it was pretty sheer, so maybe it's not the brush. I don't know. We'll try this brush. And we'll just stipple. It still seems pretty sheer to me. What do you guys think? It's better. It's building a little bit. Definitely don't like that brush. For $48. This one was $14. And I love this one. But you guys already knew that because you watched my brush video on Friday. Okay, so I think it looks pretty good now. Oh, maybe not. Okay, now it's time to go in with a sponge because it's totally in my lines. I have a wet sponge, damp sponge right here. Go ahead and less dampen it. And then, I hate, I didn't want to use the sponge on this because it's so sheer. It would just shear it out, I thought, even more. Oh. Well, it's kind of cakey, guys. And I don't know if it's because of that primer that I used. Or if it's, that's just how this is. It's definitely Sinking into lines, and of course, pushing it out is shearing out the foundation. It's going to end up being light coverage, which, you know, if you like light coverage, that's fine. I feel like I've just, I've gotten the lines out, but I've also taken away all the coverage. I don't like this. I don't like it at all. What do you guys think? Look at all the spots. Basically, everything I had... When I started, it's tacky, a little tacky. Maybe if I powder it. I'm going to go off camera and finish my makeup. And I will be back. And then we will do a wear test if I can get it to stop sinking into lines. Because see right now, it just sank back in. And it's even sinking into the lines under my eyes. You know, that never happens. I don't know what's going on. But I'm going to go finish my makeup. I'll be back. Okay guys, I am back. I have all my makeup on now, and I have to tell you, I am not loving it. It's just, it still looks kind of cakey, and it's sinking into lines everywhere. So, I'm not sure if you guys need to even have me check in at the end of the day, because it sucks. I will check back in at the end of the day and let you know. If it's any different. <laughs> so I'll be back. Okay guys. I am back. It's the end of the day. Um, what can I say? It totally sinks into lines. I am going to try it again though. I am going to try it with my Algenist primer. Because I'm afraid that maybe the reason it's so bad at sinking into lines and looking cakey and all of this stuff is because of the primer. The eyes stayed really nice though. But yeah, it looks cakey. It sank into my lines, my every, every single line it sank into. Not just these little ones here that I always have trouble with. It sank into my eye ones. I never have trouble with my eye ones. It sank into these up here and these right here. It's a mess. So. I'm going to wash it off. And tomorrow, I'm going to wear it again. The Sunday Riley, anyways. 
and I'm gonna wear it with my Algenist primer and see if it does better. And if it does, I will let you know in the information bar. Uh, if not, if it doesn't say anything, then it did exactly the same and it was the, the foundation. And it didn't really change much with hot flashes because it just sucked to start with. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave. Follow me on Snapchat, Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. I love you guys. I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you for watching my videos. And I will see you in my next video. Mwah!